Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on transforming skewed variables in SPSS. So oftentimes in counseling research we want to conduct parametric statistics. However, we're working with dependent variables that are skewed, either positively skewed or negatively skewed. And this violates a key assumption of many parametric statistics. Therefore, either becoming a limitation if we continue and run a parametric statistic or forcing us to use a non-parametric statistic which may have less power. So using this fictitious data set I hear, have here on the left, I'm going to show you how to transform a positively skewed variable, and I have one here I, I happen to know is positively skewed, named substance use, and then a negatively skewed variable. Again, I happen to know this one named depression is negatively skewed. So let's say that this data are the results of a study. So you have independent variable duration, uh, emphasis, what the counselor emphasizes during treatment, gender, and then two dependent variables. Uh, substance use, say severity level or something like that, and then depression and a statistic that we may want to use in this case might be MANOVA or perhaps say that we had a data set that only had one of these variables instead of both, uh, ANOVA, or depending on the independent variable we chose, even a t-test. But in those cases, uh, we still would like to work with data that is not skewed. So first I'll show you how to determine if a variable is skewed. So let's look at substance use and we're going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore. And I'm going to move, move uh, Substance Use over to the Dependent list. Under Statistics, I'm not going to change anything. This is the default setting. And under Plots, uh, I'm going to take off the Stem and Leaf. I'm going to click Histogram. Uh, it's a little more useful, uh, in my opinion, for this particular analysis. And then Continue and then Options I'm going to leave to the default setting and click OK. So you can see that a lot of information that is provided by using the Descriptives ability in SPSS. So we have uh, a few specific metrics we want to pay close attention to. Uh, one is the minimum value uh, that will become relevant uh, shortly and then the maximum value. And then, of course, of the most interest here is the skewness. And you can see the skewness is 1.027, and the standard error for the skewness is 0.254. And if you move down, you can see uh, that clearly this is a positively skewed distribution. We know because we have a positive skewness number, uh, but also you can look at the histogram and see that there are some scores here toward the higher range kind of by themselves. So if, you, if you're looking at a histogram and you kind of think of the curve that would represent these data points, if the tail is pointing to the right, it's positively skewed. If the tail is pointing to the left, it would be negatively skewed. So how do we determine if this number indicates, the statistic indicates skewness or not? And there's two ways uh, that are fairly common. One way would be to look at the absolute value of the statistic, and if it's greater than 1, then the distribution is skewed. Of course, if we're looking at a negative uh, 1, then it would be a negative skew. But if you just want to determine if it's skewed, just look at the absolute value. If it exceeds 1, then it's skewed. Then you want to know what type of skewness, again, positive or negative. Of course, if it's a positive value, like greater than 1, then it's positively skewed. If it's less than negative 1, then it's negatively skewed. Uh, another method is to double the standard error. So uh, in this case, we have 0.254, which if we doubled this would be 0 0.508. And we look at that number and say, is the skewness statistic greater than that number? Is it greater than double the standard error? And of course, in this instance, it is. 1.027 is greater than 0 
So by looking at the descriptors, we can determine this variable, substance use, is a good candidate for transformation. So let's take a look at how we do that. I want to go into uh, transform and compute variable. And the first thing we want to do is to name the uh, target variable. So I'm just going to call this uh, substance use and then underscore, in this case, log. And I'll explain why. We'll be using a, a log 10 transformation to transform the variable substance use. So there's a few assumptions you need to satisfy before running a log 10 transformation. Uh, you can have no negative values and no zeros in the variable. And also, the distribution needs to be positively skewed. So I'm going to show you a little later in the video how to deal with a negative skew and, of course, how to deal with uh, if you do have zeros or negative values. But we know from looking at the minimum and the maximum in the descriptors that we do not have any zeros and we do not have any negative values. And, of course, uh, we know from the skewness that this is a positive skew. So from here, it's fairly straightforward. In the function group, go to arithmetic, and you'll look for log 10. And you can see uh, the question mark highlighted in the parentheses there. Uh, this is similar to, say, an Excel function. So it's asking for an argument. And the argument we're going to provide is substance use. So it's log 10, open parentheses, substance use, close parentheses. This is going to create a whole new variable named substance use underscore log. So you can see uh, the compute function here and then execute from the output. And you can see you have a new variable named substance use log, which we would hope uh, would no longer be skewed. So let's take a look. We'll go to uh, analyze descriptive statistics and then explore. And I'm just going to take substance use out and put substance use log in. I'm not going to change anything else. So we're going to have the same uh, statistics, plots, and then, of course, the options. And click OK. And now you can see uh, we have a distribution of the skewness of 0 0.037. And if we take a look at the histogram, you can see this is closer to a normal distribution than what we had before. So we go up to the uh, previous one. You can see positively skewed. And now uh, the transformed variable, uh, more normal. So we could use this for a parametric statistic, like ANOVA or t-test. So now I'm going to move back into the data view. And I want to show you how to deal with a uh, zero value. So I'm going to select in substance use, uh, there's a 15 here. And I'm going to change this to zero. I'm going to clear the substance use log variable as well. So now we have a zero. And dealing with this is not terribly difficult. We're going to go back into transform compute variable. And it's the same, it's the same function we used before. All right, we have log 10 substance use, except we're just going to add 1. That compensates for that 0. So now the lowest value will be 1. And all the scores will, in fact, increase by 1. And we'll no longer have a 0 in the variable. So click OK. You can see it runs the compute variable. And now we have a transform variable that we can work with. Similarly, let me uh, take this 0. I'm going to I'll clear this here. All right, and I'll take this 0 and make this, say, a you know, negative 3. Now we're going to go back into uh, compute variable. And now we need to compensate for this value. Now, again, I just changed this to negative 3, so we know that we have a negative number. We know what it is. Uh, but the way to find this would be use the uh, explorer and look at the minimum value. Right, so you would see that there would be I give 3 as a minimum value. So we know we need to get above 0. So we're going to have to add 4. Right, that will get us to 1. So negative 3, we'll have to add a value of 4 to each score.
And now again, uh, substance use uh, log one is a variable that we can use for analysis. It's a successfully transform variable. So that addresses a, a negative score and a zero. And of course, this is all the log transformation is all for uh, positive skews. So what would we do if we had a negative skew? So let's take it this take a look at this variable uh, depression, right? So we'll go to analyze, descriptives, explore. And now I want to take a look at the depression variable. You see a minimum of 33, maximum of 70. The skewness here is negative 1.032. And you can see from the uh, histogram that this is negatively skewed. So you see it here, and of course we have the negative value. And this negative value, or the absolute value of the skewness statistic is greater than twice the value of the standard error. So we do have a, a distribution that is skewed, and this is a, again a good candidate for transformation, but we can't use a log transformation. Uh, we have to first make an adjustment uh, to the score uh, called reflection. So let's go back to the compute variable. And uh, we're going to, of course, substitute out. I'm just going to delete all this. We're going to substitute in uh, depression for where it had substance use. And I'm going to call this depression log. So the way I have it configured now, it will not work because we have not yet uh, put in the reflection piece. Uh, so what we want to be mindful of is the maximum value, which uh, you might remember is 70 in this data set. We want to take that maximum value, so I'm going to type that in, 70. I want to add 1 to that, and then subtract the value in the variable. So we're going to subtract depression. So you have 70 as the maximum score, plus 1, minus the score in depression. Now you could do this in two separate steps. You could compute this first, and then run the log transformation on that new variable. Uh, but as you can see, we can express it in one numeric expression, in one step. So let's uh, click OK. And now we have a transformed uh, variable, depression log. And let's see if we were successful with this transformation. Remember, it was negatively skewed before. So take depression out and put depression log in. And we can see that it is still negatively skewed as negative 0.779. It doesn't. Uh, it's not less than negative 1, uh, but it, the absolute value of this is still greater than 2 times the standard error, so it's still some area of concern. Uh, if you look at the histogram, you can see there still is a distinct negative skew. Again, depending on which definition you use, uh, you could continue on with parametric statistics from this point if you use the definition tied to the skewness statistic and not to uh, double the value of the standard error. Now this is an instance where you'd have to use your discretion. Looking at this data set, I think that with this point still out here, and this still kind of looks negatively skewed, mathematically it's, it's pretty close to being skewed, but again under that definition technically it's not, so you could say it's a successful transformation. Still I would be a little concerned about the fact that it's more than double the standard error. However, certainly it's an improvement over the initial distribution, which had negative 1.032 as a statistic. So uh, this distribution here uh, is less normal than the transformed variable. I hope you found this video on transforming skewed variables in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, 
feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.